Hey, I'm Ross. Hello there, I'm Sam. I'm going to describe how the interactive music system works in, uh, in Star Citizen. So from the code side, we've got a system that will basically driven off music events. The way it works is that Ross can decide what happens when the music events yeah. occur. So if he wants the, the event when your ship gets hit by a, a bullet, if he wants that to be really significant, then he can decide how that happens with, uh, by using the uh, data-driven tools that we've uh, provided for him. Whatever you're doing, we're making sure that the music system knows what you're doing and is responding in a way that's appropriate and cool and cinematic. So um, I'll show you some examples. So uh, a really nice example we're working on at the moment is the ambient music. This is when there's not really you know, any combat or anything going on. We're just exploring spaces and stuff. At the moment, we're hearing some FPS music. So this is just the, the engine knows that we're on foot. It's playing sort of a slightly synthy, slightly tense underscore that's very ambient. Then as you move into the ship, it'll slowly transition to a more grand kind of exploration kind of feel to the music and that's based on the conditions we know we know that you're in the ship now and, and we know that the engines are starting that kind of thing we get out of the ship uh, if we were in space now and we wanted to eva directly into space it would work there as well but we're going to take a cool little jump off the platform here just because it's a great example as you head towards the ed edge of the platform and go for a big leap out into space you'll hear the music transition There we go, and now we've got this really cool, ethereal, almost craft work esque ambient music. All of this by Pedro. And see, this is all based on conditions that Sam Hall and I have been working on. We know we're floating, we know that we're not in any immediate danger, so we've got this beautiful exploratory, quite sort of a sense of wonder music playing. As we come back down, we'll land back on the platform. We know that, again, no danger at the moment, just FPS, no threats. We go into an FPS ambient music. You're going to hear this system the most is when you're, uh, you're dogfighting. So here we have uh, a few pirates coming in. Immediately, we'll be getting some, uh, some tension music. That's based on the fact we have some unknown guys approaching. So the system's told us two guys have just arrived. They seem to be a threat, so that's pushed up the tension parameter. Now I'm starting to fire on them, and they're returning fire. We'll start to really see the, the system ramp up now. The intensity number, which is the real backbone of this system, is going to start going crazy as your shield gets hit, is getting hit, you're hitting the guys. These numbers are constantly being fed in. And as that number rises, we move through way out of the ambient area into low action, medium action, eventually high action, which is really crazy. You see, if you eventually manage to take out one of these guys, you get a boost to the mood parameter, which is kind of the y-axis. Here we go. We also get a little uh, sting there that plays whenever uh, you kill one of the bad guys. There's, the engine has a chance to play a little uh, victory sting. Ta-da! Yeah, we've had a boost that's pushed us into the hero state now, so the music's kind of gone all heroic, we've got big brass sections. And that'll swell back down again, because all these parameters all decay back down to like a, a stasis. There we go, another guy getting taken out there. The, uh, the code of Sam Hall, what he's provided me with, which is incredibly valuable, is all this debug information. Uh, this tells me everything that's going on from uh, we have all the stings which are like momentary events that could happen This is things like ships passing by as you might have heard there's that sometimes get a like a, a little vroom, little trumpety sting when uh, a ship passes by So successfully hitting bad guys your ship getting blown up all manner of parameters That's our momentaries and then we have the long-term information. We have the the ship's intensity That's the, the big number that, that's our backbone the mood, and all manner of other parameters that we can use to feed into the system in any combination of ways. And you can see we're getting information in about events here. So we have, we've hit the shield to the ship, so that's good. That feeds into it. Yep, the player's ship has been hit in return. So 
this 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 constant feed of information that's what i can rely on to uh, to tweak the numbers in the music logic system to make sure you know the system doesn't go too crazy uh, go up into high action too fast or anything like that now we saw a ship destroyed that gives us a cool little momentary spin All of this, although we're seeing this in the flight mode at the moment, we're working on it for, uh, for 2.6 to make sure that these numbers translate into the FPS game mode and eventually you're suggesting uh, EVA combat as well. So no matter what you're doing, uh, this stuff is always appropriate and the music will, will shift to suit the EVA or the FPS environment. We have a theoretical example just to show you using some console commands here. We can simulate what it will be like when uh, we have uh, EVA combat working in conjunction with the music logic. So I'll throw in some numbers here. And uh, just like we saw with the pirates attacking a ship when the music logic was going nuts, I'll be uh, simulating the player getting attacked or, uh, or attacking the enemy and we'll see that, that the EVA music, that gentle kind of Kraftwerk-esque music, starts ramping up in this cool kind of choral way. All of this again, this is all Pedro's beautiful music. And just like the flight combat music, we have heroic EVA music, we have grim EVA music, exactly the same set up just with a whole different mood to the music and a different set of actual music loops. And the same thing here now with, uh, with FPS, this is something we'll be seeing very soon. This is the same system again, but this time we're getting uh, hit by, it could be pirates attacking us, and we're on foot, so the music is a bit more personal, a bit more synthy and dark. You, you get that kind of grand space music for the space flight, we want to go a little more tense and synthetic for uh, FPS. So again, you can hear that music swelling and falling. This will be a constant background between all these systems. And as you move through different parts of the galaxy, the, the, whole, the whole overall suite of music will move from one set to another, but there'll be an understandable language across all of it that, you, that you'll kind of get used to. And this will be on its feet and working forever. It, it's a, a system that's self-managing and, and autonomous really and will just work which is awesome so that's music logic that's uh, what sam hall and i have been building in dataforge we're really really proud of uh, how far it's come it's going to be available in 2.6 and uh, that'll be just the beginning it's just going to get bigger and bigger and grander and grander but i uh, hope you enjoyed it